with journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello, planner babes, and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, first, I want to thank all my Patreon members who help make it possible to create videos like this. Well, thank you guys so much, and if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organizedplannerchic. Okay, you guys, we're going to do a flip through of my January pages and my 2021 bullet journal, which is a Hobonichi plain notebook, and then we'll look at my setup for February, and I'll show you how to draw the flowers that I drew. So we're going to just go straight to the index. And see my January pages start on page 14 so let's go ahead and go to that page and start flipping through okay so this was my setup which I did a video with this showing how I set up for the month of January I really had fun with this spread I used some watercolor pencils so be sure and check out that video if you haven't already and then this is my January calendar and I, you know, added all my appointments and stuff, anything that I didn't have on there before in the beginning because I did have something set up in there. I used Spanish for the title just to kind of celebrate that I'm getting back into my Spanish, really diving back in this year. And yeah, so that's how my monthly spread looked for the month of January. I doodled some little flowers right there to correspond with these stickers that I got a long time ago. They're recollections from Michaels. And then, yeah, I just drew in some other things. These stickers came from Plan to Blossom. These I got free. And I don't remember who it was that I printed online. These are from Wonton in a Million, which they used to be at, they have an Etsy, Etsy shop, but they used to be at Michael's as well. And then these I got, I don't remember who from on Etsy, these little stacks of money for my paydays. And then we come to my to-do spread. And for this spread is where I keep track of everything that I actually want to accomplish for the current month. And then I reference this whenever I'm setting up my weekly spreads along with my calendar that we just flipped from. So today is the 27th, I think, of January. It might be the 26th. And so I have gotten a lot of stuff done. But I have a few things left to do, some that I'm finishing today, so I'm not marking the X until they are actually done. And then I should just have a couple of things left for the last few days of the month. You see here on one thing I put a dress in February because I knew I was not going to get to it in the month of January. So I always have a personal category, my YouTube Organized Planner Sheet, Patreon Organized Planner Sheet, my Facebook Organized Planner Sheet Crew Group, my Facebook Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ Group, then I have a general business category, and then this is the area where I sing Lucinda Worships, and I haven't done much at all this month. It's just January is a good, big, busy transitional month, getting ready for taxes and setting up, you know, tweaking goals, and then just some other things that came up for us for 2021. And so I doodled everything at the top to kind of match this really cool washi tape that I got from the 99 cent store that is, you know, oceanic themed with a, some fish and a mermaid. And then this is how my weekly spreads turned out. The design or kind of the layout of each day was close to the same. Oh, some weeks I forgot to put what week number it was on there, so I'll, I'll catch that up. I'll find a place somewhere on some of those because it is really helpful for me to know what the week is. And so I always have the day of the week and the date and then the high and low temperatures, whether it was sunny, cloudy, etc. My weight, which, you know, I gained some weight over Christmas, y'all, but I am down to, I have uh, what do I have two pounds no I have almost two pounds left to lose I gained five pounds so 
yeah i ate a lot <laughs> over christmas it, it was crazy it was really out of control and so um yeah so i put my weight and then my sleep hours you know, what time i went to bed and what time i got up oh you know what did i do that i think i forgot to do that some on the future week but we'll look at that and then yoga whether i did it in the a.m or p.m or not at all but i do it at least five times a week and then i have my to-do list and then i just decorate i doodle or i do washi tape or i do stickers some of the stickers i created like these chore stickers down here i made this sticker i made and i think everything else on this spread is from dollar tree oh i made this sticker and everything else is from dollar tree from those really nice sticker books that they have i love them so much and then a few of them are from sticker sheets like these three here but all from dollar tree y'all awesome stickers and then here's the next week lots of cool stickers here as well let's see everything is from dollar tree except for the ladies so any ladies that you see those are all from capital chic designs from michaels all the rest of them are from dollar tree i remembered to put the week number on that so that was cool and then did i doodle i don't think i doodled anything on this spread oh well of course i doodled the weather the weather symbols and then yep i have my weight and sleep on that one let's see if i did my I didn't so starting with this spread I totally forgot to put my sleep hours what time I went to bed and what time I got up I think part of the reason why is because I was trying to get back to a set time that I went to bed and got up because that works better for me and when you work for yourself sometimes that can be hard so um, but I'm very much in the habit now it's I'm, I'm going to bed about the same time every night and getting up about the same time every morning so I think that's why I stopped writing it but I want to start back doing that just in case so yeah, and I did this kind of a different design here with a little box that's vertical to put the weather and my weight and my yoga. I did pick up a couple of the pounds that I had lost like in here, but then I'm back now. Although I didn't write them down. I didn't write my weight for the last couple of days, but I will when we get to those pages because I remember what they were because I was celebrating. <laughs> so these are all Dollar Tree stickers. Also, uh, actually these number stickers right here, I think those were from, gosh, now I can't think of her name, Plant to Blossom but yeah all the rest are from dollar tree okay so this is the current week and i love how it looks i do like this vertical part but i did switch it up the next month at least for the first week just because i like things to be different i use stencil for the days of the week and the dates on this and i i wrote in to do and i think it looks pretty and this is dollar tree washi tape and i did remember to put the week there so that's cool then we come to February, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to show you at the end how to do this flower. It is not hard. I promise anybody can do it. So I just doodled that and I used Tombow dual brush pens to, um, to color it in. And uh, let's see, I used something different to go. Oh, I think I used my 05 um, Tombow drawing pen this is a zero one that we're going to use to draw the flower here at the end but yeah to go over these little things that i forget what you call them these little squiggly things that come out of the flower and i wrote february and outlined it and let's see this is how my monthly calendar looks and because february is a short month you know some months i actually need six weeks of squares because one of the the first will start like here and the 31st will start way down here because there's 31 days and so I just kind of set up that standard way of writing down or, or setting up my calendar to cover to make sure I have all the days of the month but February is a short month and so at the bottom I just drew in the tops of some flowers just like the one on the title page and all Tombow dual brush pens of course I doodled everything with the Tombow Mono and then I have only added in here any, as far as events, or birthdays and holidays. And then I'll go in and put all my appointments in afterward. And these stickers are all from Dollar Tree, except the little birthday character ones are from 
Oh, wow. I cannot think of who that is. Oh, my goodness. If I think of it, I will tell y'all. <laughs> I cannot think of who it is right now. Gosh. Um, if I do, I'll put on the screen. And if I don't, somebody in the comments, please remind me who that is. Because I don't have the book, book anymore. I just have the stickers when I created my own little sticker book. Um, let's see. And this is from... That noise is the mail person dropping the mail in. Sorry about that. This one is from Capital Chic Designs, the lady. And yeah, the other ones are from Dollar Tree, including these letters that I used to put February 2021. And this is Dollar Tree washi tape. And then here, all of these sticker letters are from Dollar Tree as well. It's from two or three different sticker sets. And then I drew those flowers at the top. And then I have here the um what do i have here y'all the titles for all my different sections of things to do for the month of february they're the same titles that i had on the january one that you just saw and then here is the first week in january so there's nothing on here yet other than a flower in the corner and i intend to have a flower a whole flower or a portion of flower on each spread for each week in February so these stickers are all from Dollar Tree from a sticker book and then I used gosh Tombow Mono my brain is shutting off <laughs> Tombow Monos to uh, color in these spaces and then I decided to do that horizontally instead of vertically the high low my weight in yoga and then I forgot again about my sleep hours so I think what I might do going forward is just write down if I sleep other than my normal routine now that I'm into it and then I'll mark those as exceptions where I track it in the front of my bullet journal okay so then for the next week I haven't drawn the a flower yet so I'm gonna do that on the phone on the phone gosh <laughs> right now for you guys in today's video so I have this pencil board because this is a not that it matters but this is a Hobonichi plain notebook and I've got my pencil board on the back it'll make it easier for me to draw okay so first you want to just draw a circle and it doesn't need to be a perfect circle it doesn't matter at all okay and then you're going to just draw some little loop de loops I hope my head is not in the frame and you'll just do that all the way around and don't worry it does not need to look perfect you don't need to think about it just draw them okay so there you go the center you're just gonna draw some little dots you can draw as many or you know put as many on there as you want to they don't have to be perfect dots and you can also do swirls in here you can just do some whatever in here to just kind of make it look like that what a flower sort of looks like in the middle because this is a doodle you know it's not a real life life uh, looking flower okay then this is so easy I promise so you're just going to draw like a little swirl that's sort of shaped like that on one end and it doesn't need to be perfect each one is going to be a little bit different then you're going to do the same thing on the other end okay and even this one is a tiny bit shorter than the other one. Then you're going to try to make as close to about the same size as the ones that you already have on here. Okay. And then the same thing on this side. All right. Now you've got these spaces in between and you want to fill those in and make them about the same height as the ones that you have. So you'll do like that. They can be fatter. You just want them to be about the same height. Okay, then you still got a little bit of space, so we're going to just do it one more time. Now you can do this forever endlessly, but you'll have a flower that never stops. But I usually just do it one more time in between these little spaces. Okay. I'm 
don't worry like that one looks kind of weird it's okay it's fine I promise <laughs> then you're just gonna draw like a line like this in the middle of each petal and yep that's so easy just draw a line. I don't draw like a straight line kind of a just not straight <laughs> so it looks a little I don't know I just think it looks better when it's not straight and again it's fine if it's not perfect okay and then what I do is draw these so I try to put one around each of the four or a couple of them around each of the f the first four that I did those kind of central ones yeah and then that's how it looks before you color it so like in these I didn't even draw any of the little squiggly things <laughs> so yeah you don't have to do those at all so let's go back to that first one now let's go back to this one yeah it's not quite centered in the space where I wanted it to to be but that is totally fine and then you just color it and so I just usually color choose a couple of uh, actually a color palette that's a solid one particular color like a blues or pinks or yellows and then I'll just do a darker much darker pink in here and kind of a little bit lighter pink in there and then a much lighter pink out here and then I'll the ones that are kind of in between here I go over those two or three times to darken them and then I darken the lines after I've already colored them and that's it you guys well I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that gave you some ideas on drawing that particular flower I hope you like what you saw and if you love color like me yep that's so nice to have people to join in and enjoy having lots of color with you well you guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment and share it really helps my channel a lot also I have an Instagram called at organized planner chic so you can check me out there and see all of my creative ventures and adventures and I have a couple of Facebook groups the one for anyone around the world is called organized planner chic crew and there we do giveaways and we try to stay in touch just about every day with all different types of posts and then the local one is called Phoenix Planner Friends for Christ. So if you're local, check us out there. And then if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner chic. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.